Well, good morning, guys. So, new edition. That's a lovely box, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. No, I'm only joking. Um, basically, we've got a nice new lens. So, going by the size of the box, you could probably guess it's quite a substantial uh, lens. I've actually gone for the 200 to 600 Sony. And the uh, reason being is. One, it's got internal focusing, so there's no change in length or anything like that. Um, and it's uh, well, a, a sizable box, that's for sure. Let's get the uh, box there. There we go. Quick unboxing, see what's actually in the box. I've never seen one of these yet, so. So it's quite a nice size bit of kit there. It's um, so yeah, it's a 200 600 FE f5.6 to 6.3. So quite a compact lens, I believe. Um, it's even got a well, looks of it, its own bag. Obviously a strap, which is actually quite helpful. Uh, what's it got in here? Uh, destructions and uh, uh, bits I never really open, you don't really need to, but always looks good if you when you come to sell it, nothing's been opened generally. Um, and you put it back. So, what we've got in here? that's the lens hood, it's quite a size, isn't it? So, I had the 150 to 600 before. Um, Plastic, so it's going to be durable. And the weight of that was wasn't too bad. I mean, it's, it's heavier than this lens. So it's quite a lump. Um, it's certainly quite a lump. It feels like the the van it's come in was refrigerated. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so that's it as a whole. That is the lens. Not that big, actually. So that will fit into my, if I put it that way. That's actually not too big. It's just over 12 inches long. So that will fit in my bag quite happily. Uh, absolutely. At least apparently this comes Okay, so you can take the handle off as well if you really want to, but that will stay on there. Yeah. So coupled with the uh, A7R Mark IV, that's going to be quite a nice um, thing to use. It. Open this and see what sort of bag this is. If it's, A proper oh yeah so okay so it's a proper lens proper lens pouch so you can actually keep it dust free and everything probably won't use that very often um, unless you sort of go and travel in or something like that where you put it in and whatever or um, it's going in the boot of the car or something this is the strap I used to use the strap on my other lenses but I'm not sure if I would or not on this I don't know um, I mean, it's quite good to have if you're carrying it, but then quite often you just carry it with the camera hanging off the back. Anyway, so, but yeah, it's got many function buttons by the looks of it, custom buttons. Um, very smooth. And the internal zoom. So that's where the Sigma, Sigma became heavy because basically, um, as it zoomed out, for example, the lens will get quite a bit longer and where this has got all the heavier elements here the Sigma was pushed forward so basically you ended up with almost a three kilo lens that 
caused a leverage a action. So I could quite happily hand hold it, and I did hand hold it for a few hours um, when I went to actually went to a uh, medieval fair, and I was using it for the first time. Yeah, it got, definitely gave me a backache after a, a few hours, um, and I knew about it the next day um, because of the leverage action. So this lens should be a completely different situation um, where it's not pulling the weight off the end of the uh, the front of the camera, and where yeah, this is a plastic um, lens cowl um, or lens hood. The Sigma was an aluminium one, which was probably twice the weight of this plastic one. Yeah, it's probably stronger. You can bash it around a bit more, but at the end of the day, plastic plastic's flexible. It bounces back. Uh, there was just more added weight, and you know it just became a heavier lens. That's one reason I sold it and bought the RX10 Mark IV because the RX10 Mark IV is in the league of its own for weight. It's only a kilo. You had 600 millimeters of zoom and obviously f4 so you can get faster shutter speeds in, in slightly lower light. Um, but this is obviously going to be great on the 60 megapixel um, sensor. So anyway, that's just a quick look at it. I mean, we've got um, four different buttons here. Uh, AF, MF, so autofocus, manual focus. You've got a full and a 10 meters to infinity uh, switch, steady shot on and off. And you've got your different modes, apparently one, two, and three. So you've got one is normal, two is panning, and three apparently makes your um someone said the the view through the EVF better. So basically when you're panning or move moving quickly with other things, um it works even better. Right, so that's put the camera on the uh, the lens and um pack up the stuff and go and have a little explore, take some photos with the uh the two hundred or six hundred and see what it can do. Um, don't forget to click the little subscribe button and the uh, little notification bell and uh, you'll see on the next video what I got up to.